You yes, wouldn't you play do. a dog, Carl. You, you dare to play there? Of course I play there. You I don't play need... here. Yeah, what, what are you going to do, Carl? Play Sadie. What? Yeah, Carl, you got to play Sadie. Why do I have to play Sadie? Because she's the best chess player here. Come yeah. on. I accept. I don't know what knocking over the queen means, though. All right, I go in. You're going in? Why can't I go in? Do you intend to commit some sin? I will sinitate. No! Giants. <laughs> Giants. Thank you, Giants. Yep. You're a good man. I take back 60% of what I said about you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you playing, know, you're playing the wrong variation against me. Look, look, I can play any variation I want to play this against is you. way too uh, normal. That must be at least 18, right? What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This? It's no. You'll never take me alive. 15? Never. Or you Give me him. 16 or something. What? Why am I so good? You're, you're not. Right. I am good. Carl, you're only rated 1,200. Yeah. Look, I'm going to up 1,200 your nose. All right, let me yeah, just. Sadie's better than you. Sadie this. Sadie's right. Yeah, we got Sadie. Who, who are we talking about, Sadie? Sadie. Sadie the dog. Sadie Sue. Leave the dog. the dog alone. We have to have a video of Sadie playing Carl. We can do it. Yeah. And Sadie wins. We'll yeah. have a computer. Let me just do what I got to do. Sadie. Yeah. And somebody what is holds this? the dog's arms and moves the pieces. Yeah. Go here. It'll, it'll be good. Just video. go there. Why can't I go there? The first chess player against the dog. We have to sell something though. We we'll have Sadie. What should you be wearing? Sadie, Grandmaster Sadie. T-shirt. Give me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right. I just. I'm gonna take. Give it to you. I'm a taker. Position and a heartbreaker. And a heartbreaker. Yeah. On the front. Yeah. Come on, there, Stubulis. Well, what happened after the game? You know what happened she after the game. Sits there. Carl quits chess. Oh yeah. Carl quits chess there. my butt. Go backwards like a schneebel. What's a schneebel? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, Carl. It's one it's of those. Carl, yeah. The great Carl. Not really. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Look. Oh, it's, that's right. I have to do this. I forgot we're playing uh, that. Let's just go ahead and uh, take the night. I love nights. You can have it. Jesus I love the day. Christ, if that's what you want, then that's what? what you can get. Is this is this all you've uh, capitulated here? Dave, why are you wearing a shirt? Quiet now. Fish. Who needs a shirt? You do. Look, pudgy. Pudgy panage. What's going on here? You're losing, I'm winning. Am I? Yes. Losing? It's pretty much your normal fate. Don't. <sighs> What the heck? But a Sadie chess thing will take a lot of edits and cuts, you yeah. know? Because what the heck? Is this, five is this game, a blind Sadie man's bluff here? Just to move the... <laughs> must be. Have the paw move the chess piece and take away like, have, have him do the two-move checkmate. Did you say a blind man's bluff? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Are you blinding the bluff? Yeah, two man's Because, uh... Why must you play like this? You're because I'm good. little man, you. You because nasty, I, nasty little because man. Because I'm good. You nasty little man. Time to die. You're in the hood. No, I take two. I take two pieces. What two pieces? Okay, okay, maybe I was two pieces. Maybe I was wrong about you. Can let you me not just count. Let me go here, there, uh, Schnooly. Schnooly, I'm coming. So uh, you know I'm coming. So go ahead and come. I don't care about oh, you. How about me? It's coming. You don't care it's about coming. me. I don't care about you. How about me? Carl's coming. It should be coming. Coming. This to me? No. Why not? Because, Blunderbust, I got everything a mother could want. Do you really? Look, uh, Shibugi. Let me just teach you a little bit about Chester there. Go backwards like a little stool. All right, Jesus, I will. Like a stool. You will. I'll go back like a little stool. Look, little stooly. Stool. I can go back like a stool, just just with the best of them. Well, let me uh, go here. Is that so where that, you go? So that you understand chess. Is that where you go? Is this? Let me take this guy. It looks like a what is this? Stool. Give me this. Come on, you're oh, not. You take that. Yes, I take that. And that's okay. That's you. pretty good. You like this? It's not bad. This is good. It's very nice. Not bad. Got another chess player. Who? Oh my gosh! Two and one. What? <laughs> another one? There's another one cropping up. <laughs> Did you say crapping up? I don't know. It's a thing. Here. What's this? It's chess. You dirty man. You. What? Well, I'm not dirty. I'm clean guy. It's a nice little trick. I'm not clean. Carl, you're not. Trick. Yeah. Carl, it's you're best, not clean. Sorry. It's best if you don't uh, more clean insult right you. here. Holy shit. Shitting ain't, shit ain't going to help you. 
What the hell? What the hell? What the? Did I already go over the what the hell thing? You did. All right, well, let me go over the what the hell, uh, why you're going to lose this game. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, come on there, Kabibis. All right, let me go in here. This is here, by the way. So it's there. I don't so care. So what? I don't here. care if it's there. I go here. You go there? Yeah. Well, then I go here. Ooh. You like that? No. Does that smell right? No. How's that smell there, Smilly? Let me just take this off with a sugar don't frog. Don't you think about it a little bit? No, I think that this is about right. New guy, new guy. What? New Another guy. one? Wait a minute. Who? Hey guys, Brent here. I hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below, and let's go over this game and see what we can learn from it. Really cool game by Carl. Um, it's you know when you see Carl play, usually he um he doesn't really attack directly. He'll kind of um bide his time and then look to gain an advantage, small advantage, kind of accumulate them, and then just crush you in the end game. So it was nice to see Carl kind of play offense here and tactically, and kind of um you know kind of Dave the Dave in a sense right I mean so <laughs> it's kind of cool to see that happen but uh, let's go over the game see what we can learn um, in this position Dave took the uh, knight and Carl retook with the other knight but if you want to go move back pause the video what would have been the best move for white here in this position alright instead of taking this knight Probably taking the base knight would have been better. And, you know, I mean, there's going to be instances of double pawns. Queen will take care of all, all the variations. There's going to be a ton of variations. But the main point is that black's knights are, are kind of, they're neutralized and they're, no, they're nowhere near um, white's king anymore. And um, there's a saying that knights are the trickiest uh, pieces on the board. And whenever they cross your kind of um your side of the board then you have to be really vigilant and the thing is like um it's carl's really sneaky here too because he knows that knights are dangerous and kind of what he does is that if his opponent takes out one knight he's just he has like the knight prepared to come back in to cause havoc so it's kind of a subtle thing casual chess players may miss kind of um but definitely shows you the how tricky nets can be and and you know probably best to eliminate them before they kind of cause trouble like you saw at the end of the game but let's go here in this position and here kind of Carl saw the uh, tactic and in the game um, Dave played rook takes d5 but if you want to go move back pause the video what's the best move for white here how can white salvage this and live to fight another day in this game alright simply you gotta neutralize the threats here um, queen takes queen, and instead of ruining the pawn structure, probably uh, knight check with the fork, and here, and obviously black is still winning, but um, he has like a ton of pawns, but, you know, I'm confident Dave can make something of this, you know, he uh, is a very good offensive-minded uh, chess player, and uh, yeah, I gotta, you know, I think everyone sees it, hats off to him, Dave is a very, uh, he sees the beautiful attacks, right, I mean, um, and he does it with such, uh, you know, such beauty, you know, and it's very uh, rare to kind of see that. It's kind of like tall and slash morphe slash kind of a very offensive beauty, beautiful um, chess player. And I think that's what's cool about kind of coffee chess is that you get to see different styles, right? I mean, Carl's style is not as, you know, tactical slash attacking slash pressuring. He just kind of likes to bide his time, kind of build, probe, you know, gain small advantages, accumulate, and then just have that all shown in the end game and just totally crush you. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of cool to see those styles clash. And But, but in this case, it's kind of cool to see the styles kind of get reversed here with uh, Carl uh, pulling out the tactical attack. And, um, yeah, but the moral of the story of this game, I think, is these knights are really, really tricky, man. And whenever they're creeping up on your side of the board... <laughs> like this and you know it's kind of your opponent has like a backup knight it's probably just to kind of um go for the base knight i mean obviously the pos it's going to depend on the position but just the rule in general um whenever your opponent's knights start entering your side of the board then just start be really really careful and just calculate everything and 
you know, obviously you don't want to give up the bishop pair, but just, uh, I guess bottom line, just be wary and, and look for any tactical tricks that can uh, occur. Oh, and also I want to point out the beauty of this bishop here. I mean, what a great bishop. Look at this. Discover check. Just scoping in on that. Kind of forcing the king. Only move is uh, king over and beautiful fork by Carl. So, yeah. Um, that is a sneaky little bishop, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification. And thanks. I'll see you guys later.